everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers at the University of Cambridge have demonstrated that metabolism can occur naturally outside of living cells. An experiment published in the journal Molecular Systems Biology recreated the conditions of Earth's ocean as it was approximately four billion years ago. In these waters, rich in iron and other metals, researchers detected the spontaneous occurrence of two metabolic pathways found in living organisms, glycolysis and the pentose phosphate pathway. These naturally occurring metabolic processes aren't exactly like the ones that take place within our cells and the cells of other organisms. For one thing, they're catalyzed by metal ions rather than enzymes. But the results of this experiment suggest that metabolic reactions like these in the ocean of four billion years ago could have led to the formation of RNA, DNA, and other molecules essential to life as we know it. A major piece in the puzzle of how life first arose on Earth may just have been snapped into place. Next up, researchers at the University of Utah have developed computer software capable of identifying undiagnosed illnesses caused by unknown genetic mutations. The software is called FEVER, that's P-H-E-V-O-R, which is an acronym for Phenotype Driven Variant Ontological Re-Ranking Tool. It works by analyzing a patient's DNA sequence and comparing it to a database of phenotypes, allowing it to determine if a disease is likely to have an underlying genetic cause or if the patient has an undiagnosed genetic disorder. The study, published in the American Journal of Human Genetics, describes three cases where fever was able to successfully identify undiagnosed diseases and discover undetected genetic mutations. The researchers hope that fever or programs like it will soon become a part of standard medical care. Finally, astronomers have discovered a new star. It's nearby, and it's one of the coldest stars ever found. The star was discovered at the Penn State Center for Exoplanets and Habitable Worlds using NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE, and the Spitzer Space Telescope. The star is designated WISE J085510.83-07-0.0 0.83-07-1442.5. Those astronomers and their catchy names. WISE J085510.83-07-1442.5. It just gets stuck in your head, doesn't it? It's a mere 7.2 light years from Earth, making it our fourth nearest stellar neighbor. The star is a brown dwarf. It went undetected until now because of its relatively small size, between three and ten times the mass of our planet Jupiter, and its cool temperature, with an estimated surface temperature of between minus 54 and 9 degrees Fahrenheit, that's minus 48 to minus 13 degrees Celsius, it's the coldest brown dwarf yet found. Instruments like WISE and Spitzer have revealed that our stellar neighborhood is a lot more crowded than we thought. Scientists discover that metabolism could have predated cells in the development of early life, new computer software finds undetected gene mutations, and astronomers discover a new stellar neighbor. But don't worry, he's cool. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's the good news. Was the he's cool pun really that bad? <laughs>